Hello, my name is Kaylee Boisvert, and I've written two books. Um, they're money related. I'm a numbers person. Um, so I my first book is called Make Money Your Thing. And I wrote this book specifically to empower women when it comes to their financial lives. So I've been in the industry for 15 plus years. And what I've seen from my experience is that women seem to be a little bit more hesitant to take action when it comes to investing, building wealth, um, taking action with their finances. So wrote this book with the hope to give a bit of a confidence boost. So I want to make money less scary, um, less intimidating, and more sort of welcoming, comfortable, and maybe even fun for women. So in the book, I share action steps at the end of each chapter. And those are really the pieces that I think could be extremely valuable to readers because it actually gets you doing the things that I talk about in the chapters and, and doing it for yourself in your own financial life. So again, wrote the book to give women a confidence boost when it comes to their finances. And then my other book, it's called Money Wise Mabel's Bursting Bank. And it is a picture book for children, probably ages four to seven, I would say ideal age. And I wrote this book um, because what I hear a lot in the finance industry as well is meeting with people that say things like, I wish I would have started this sooner. And that made me think, well, how soon can we start? And I think we can start really, really early. So I wrote this as a tool to start communicating about money and building that financial literacy in our children from really early on. So those are my books. And um, a little bit about my journey was I love, 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 love books. My like home is surrounded, you know, by books. They're in like every crevice. There's books, books, books. Um, but I, I always wanted to write a book, but early on I decided I, I developed a belief that I'm not good at writing. And I think it stems from like, for me, it's sort of like, where did this begin? Why did I feel this way? I remember early on when teachers, like, I think like grade three or four would give us an assignment to write a story. Um, I would really go with it. Like I would take, <laughs> I would take it and go and I would write a story. Like it was a really long story. And I'm talking like you couldn't even staple it together because there were so many pages. Um, but, you know, and then I would hand it in and I would get so excited to hear what the teacher had to say about it. Like, you know, eagerly awaiting the feedback and I wouldn't really get much feedback. And so that was really hard. Like, and I, I think it was just, you know, they had a lot of different student stuff to grade. And the point was probably more just like, are they learning sentence structure, things like that? Not, can you write, you know, a hundred page story as a child? So I think, you know, the, you, but the messaging I took on was I saw, like, I'm not good at writing. I, I'm obviously a terrible writer. And so it's interesting because that then stayed with me for again, all the years. So it's like, only up until a couple of years ago. So I, you know, I was sitting at my desk and a couple of years ago, I said out loud, again, I had that, I had the feeling again of like, I just want to write something. And I said it out loud and someone was walking by my office and he actually, you know, peeked in and said, Hey, I actually was at a networking event the other day and I met a book coach and he handed me her business card. And so I was like, Oh, so I met with this book coach and, um, she was amazing, very inspiring. And I told her the fears I had that I wasn't good at writing and um, that I, you know, I didn't feel like I was going to be able to write this book, but it's something I wanted to do so badly. And she, you know, she just said, of course you can. And, you know, I'm here with you and I will help teach the skills or whatever it is you need, but yes, absolutely. You can write. And, and I was like, wow, like, oh my goodness, that just, you know, it, 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 just mind blowing to me of like, wow, I can be a writer. I'm, you know, I am allowed to do this. And it was silly almost when you think about it, that I had developed this belief that I'm not a good writer early on. And I let it dictate what I can and can't do. So I wanted to share that because there's actually an activity I share in my novel, make money or thing about this. And it's about money beliefs. So very similar to the early beliefs I had about my writing abilities um, or lack of writing abilities, people often have that to do with money. So there's a lot of early money beliefs we take on from parents or teachers or people we're hearing talk about money. 
And it's funny because those beliefs, again, they stick in our minds very early on when we don't really understand even the concepts of money, but they come out later on. So you, you know, you grow up, you're in your adult years, you're starting to deal with your own finances. And you might be thinking those things of like, you know, I never have enough. I'm always in debt. Um, money is the root of all evil. That's when I've heard from someone too. And it's interesting again, money beliefs, you know, ones that aren't even yours, maybe that aren't even your choosing. So if an activity that I give in the book that I want to share with you right now is, you know, how can we challenge these beliefs? So the activity is this. So you write down all the beliefs you have, and this can be about anything really. Like I'm, I'm specifying money and your financial life, but it could be to do with your writing um, or another element or aspect of your life, but write down the beliefs you have. And then when you're done writing them all down, so pen and paper, writing them all down, look at those that you've written down and decide, is this in fact true? And think of it in a a level of truth of like, I could debate this and for sure win a debate on the accuracy of this statement. And I would wager that the majority of the ones you have written down as your truths or beliefs are probably not actually accurate. Um, And so this is a fun part. Now you get to decide what is your conscious, like what is the beliefs you want to have of your conscious choosing? So maybe it's, you know, in my case, I am a great, great writer, writer. (laughs) not a speaker, but I'm a great, great writer. Um, I can write all sorts of stories. I have tons of stories brewing in me just waiting to come out Um, or in financial life of, you know, I am abundant in all areas of my life. Um, I am so grateful for all the blessings that I have. Um, I am constantly increasing my wealth. I'm spending time investing in my financial literacy and education. Uh, whatever it is, whatever feels good and lifts you up. Because again, a lot of those beliefs we have, they're not even ours. We take them on really early on and we just, it's sort of an automatic program, but we get to challenge those and you get to have the beliefs of your choosing. And that is so much more fun and it opens so many more doors. And, you know, in my case, it's two books later, I'm not exact. I'm not actually a terrible writer. Um, So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for your time. And bye for now.